We'll guide you through how to count the number of each duplicate in Excel. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. The A column is the list we're checking for duplicates. So what we need to do is come into another column. I'm just using a run right next to it for ease of use and type in equals and count if like this and put an open bracket and go and select the first cell with a number in, which is A2, and then go and put in a colon like so. Then all we're gonna do is go and remove that A2 again there. And we need to go to the bottom of the list. I'll just use the scroll on the right till we get to the bottom. And then I'll go and click on at the bottom like so. And then we can come back to the top like this and then go and put in a comma. And we need to select the first one again, which is A2. Then we can go and close it with a close bracket. You can then go and press enter like that. Now what you want to do is first of all, go in between the first cell, which is A2 for me, and you can then press F4 and do the same thing for the second one, which is A135 for me. Put your cursor in between it and just press F4 and you can press enter. Then select that cell again and hover your cursor in the bottom right and you'll see a cross and double click and it'll then populate all of them. You can now see the total number of duplicates, but now to go and calculate what duplicate it is, come into another column and we're gonna go and type in equals count if open bracket, and then we need to go and select the first one, which is A2, then put in a colon, and it may automatically enter in A2. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just type it in manually, then put in a comma and select A2 again. Then you can go and close the brackets like so. And what you want to do is for the first A2 here is you want to go and place your cursor and put in a dollar sign like that, then press enter. And so we can then see this is the first duplicate out of the eight. But what we can do is populate it for all of them by hovering over the bottom right of the cell and double clicking. And you can scroll down and go and see the list. It's that simple. So if you guys found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video for more.